Hey everybody, today we have another genetics video. Genetics is one of the really cool things about working with ball pythons. We're going to talk about something today that everybody says is really confusing, but it's not. We're going to talk about allelic genes. I'm going to try to put it into simple terms and we're going to use some visuals and we're going to look at some really cool snakes. I'm Bob Bledsoe, and the snake that I'll be showcasing this week is currently in quarantine because she's brand new. So I'm gonna run some B-roll footage of her later because she's still in her first week here, so I don't wanna take her out of her environment, mess with her, do anything like that, and I certainly don't wanna bring her into the room with my other snakes. Behind the camera, as always, is my brother Kent. Kent, what happened last week? You got full-on attacked by a Woma python. It's in last week's video, you guys. That's not what I meant. I'm outside John's jungle filming from the sidewalk because I'm not going in there. His place is infested with man-eating snakes. And I see this python go for my brother's upper torso, right? It snags his shirt and I'm like, oh, he's got to burn that shirt. And then it jumps over to his hand and bites his hand. And I'm like, well, great. Now my brother's dead. And yet I'm still alive. You got lucky. You probably still have its venom coursing through your veins. Yeah, pythons aren't venomous. Kent, there is no scientific way to know that for sure. Aside from taking a couple shots from a beautiful Woma python, uh, last week I picked up two new babies. And one of them you saw in the video looks very much like a normal, but has some very special genetics that I'm keeping secret until she gets older. But she's delightful and her name is Evie. I think in the last video I said her name was Eva because I had just named her like minutes before that and just mispronounced it. But her name is Evie and uh, the other one who is the subject of this video is Delilah. And you can see my reaction to her uh, in the last video. Whoa! That's insane! Because she's showcased in the last video. If you saw that video or if you follow my Instagram, at Green Room Pythons, you've seen pictures of Delilah. Delilah is a pastel freeway and possible orange dream. She might have something else in the mix uh, because she just looks crazy, but she's just a single gene pastel freeway. And freeway is what we're going to uh, talk about as far as the allelic genetics there. Freeway is a combination of yellow belly and asphalt. Now, just as an aside, before we get into this, I the, my plan has always been to eventually get into that project, except it was the highway project, which is very similar. That highway is yellow belly plus gravel, and it looks very similar. And I think it's a little bit more common, and that's why I was kind of thinking, oh, that's the project I'm going to get into. But when I saw this girl, I didn't realize, I mean, it didn't, at that point, it didn't matter. I had asked John what he thinks is, is the best project to get into, and he, he kind of said that it didn't really matter, but he prefers the freeway project. But at that point, it didn't matter. But I, I saw her, and I was like, oh, I'm, I'll take her. And then it wasn't until I got in the car and was driving home that I looked at, the, looked at her tub that he had marked and saw that it was a freeway, and I was like, oh, I guess I'm in the freeway project now, not the highway project, which means that... I need to pair her with a male that has asphalt, not gravel. All right, so here we are at the board or at the closet door. Uh, so if I was a geneticist, I would have the knowledge. And if I had the video length, I could do a really in-depth, complicated genetics explanation. But I'm not a geneticist. I don't have the knowledge nor the video length. And uh, so I'm going to try to explain this as simply as I understand it. Again, allelic genes are not complicated. They're just another thing to know about. So we're going to call this a, a DNA strand right here. And genes, different genes locate themselves at a certain spot on DNA strands. And my little red pieces of tape here are the locations that these genes will locate on. All right. So... Let's give an example right now. Let's let's uh, save allelic genes for a second. Let's just talk about a normal dominant, co-dominant, and recessive gene as an example. So let's say that that mom here 
uh, we'll just deal with mom for right now, just for this example. Let's say that she's a, a pied. She's a visual pied. Pied is a recessive gene, and you need two copies of pied to be visual. So she's pied, and that's where pied is located. That's where it hangs out, and that's the only spot that it is. If she gives a pied gene to her baby, that pied gene is gonna go right there to that same spot, okay? Let's say that she's also orange dream. She's not a super orange dream. We'll give her a copy of the normal gene. I'm using this as normal. I should have just written an N, but I liked the design, so I spent time making, <laughs> making these pattern normal. So she's a pied, Orange dream. Actually, let's make that. I'm gonna. I want to make that my uh, my allelic gene location. So we'll say that this is the orange dream spot. And again, it would be the same spot everywhere. If dad was also orange dream, it would be at that same location. And giving it to the baby at that same location. All right. Uh, and then let's make mom a um, let's make mom a leopard also. And leopard is a dominant gene. So if she was a super leopard, she had two copies of leopard, we wouldn't know by looking at her. We would have to breed her. And if every baby that she had was a leopard, that's how we would know that she's super. But we're gonna say that she's super. She's a pied, orange dream, leopard. Um, we're gonna say that dad is just a normal. Actually, let's, let's give dad an orange dream, orange dream, and, uh, and we'll say that he's het for pied. How about that? Everything else is normal. Okay, so if they had if they had babies, both parents have the, each parent has two sets of genes in that spot. So mom has one set of pied that she got from her mother, and one set of pied that she got from her father. She's got an orange dream that she got from her mother, and she's got a normal that she got from her father. She's got a leopard from mom, and a leopard from dad. Same with the father. He's got these genes that he got from his mom and his dad. Each of these parents has to give a gene from each location. And they can only give one of those genes. And it's also random which one they give, okay? So mom, right here, if uh, talking about the pied, mom has to give one of these pied genes. It's always gonna be a pied because she only has two pieds to give. Dad could give either one. Let's say he, he gives a normal. So there we go, we got a het pied baby. Uh, mom can give either an orange dream or a normal. Let's say she gives an orange dream. Okay, and let's say dad also gives his orange dream. He could give either one, but the odds were in our favor there. So we got a super orange dream baby. That's kind of cool. Um, uh, mom, let's see. Dad doesn't have leopard. He just has normal available. So mom gives a leopard. That's all she can give. And dad also, or dad gives a... Uh, normal. So we've got a leopard baby that looks, it's the same leopard as, as mom was because there's no difference whether it's leopard or super leopard. We got a super OD and we've got a het pied. So pied's recessive, so there's no visual on this pied, but there's a het there and that's great. Uh, so now let's pull these off so as not to confuse things. And the, the reason that I did that was just to show and remind people that these genes have to come, one of these genes has to be given to the baby and only one can be, okay? And also that all the genes are located in the same spot. They have their own little landing spots. In allelic genes, there's a number of complexes and we're gonna talk about the yellow belly complex because Delilah is a freeway and that is part of the yellow belly complex. She is a yellow belly and asphalt which are the same gene. Now, a lot of people describe this as different genes that land on the same landing spot. I don't think that's as accurate as saying that it's actually the same gene, but a different version of that same gene. And the reason that yellow belly and asphalt can land on the same landing spot is that they are technically the same gene. They're just a different version of that gene. And there are, there are other, there's also gravel that could land here and make a highway instead of a freeway. Uh, and there's a couple other genes in the yellow belly complex. There's other complexes that do other things. There's, there's the blue-eyed leucistic complex, which includes um, Butter Lesser, Mojave, 
uh, bamboo, some others. There's a black-eyed leucistic complex that's fire, and I think disco is in that one, and some others. Uh, there's the albino complex, which includes toffee and candy. So these are all, all these complexes are names for different variations of the same gene. We're, we're kind of just calling yellow belly the original, but it, it doesn't matter. It's, we're calling it the yellow belly complex, but they're all this, a different version of the same gene. All right, so let's say that we've got a yellow belly asphalt, which is a freeway, and it's paired to a, a normal dad. I don't have enough of these to throw them all up, so we're just gonna leave dad blank and call him a normal. Uh, dad throws a normal gene. Wait, where was that? Oh, there we go. Dad throws a normal gene in the yellow belly complex spot. Mom can throw an asphalt gene or a yellow belly gene. If she throws an asphalt, the baby looks like this. If she throws a yellow belly, the baby looks like this. Now, if she was a gravel by chance and she threw a gravel, the baby would look like this. So that's the challenge in dealing with yellow belly, asphalt, and gravel specifically. They all look exactly the same. There are some people that say that they can tell the difference between the three, but I don't think you can. There are experts in this project that can't tell the difference between the three. And uh, I think it's a really difficult thing to do. So let's look at it this way. Uh, this is, by the way, that's why when you're, when you're on Morph Market or whatever and you see people selling something that says yellow belly slash asphalt or yellow belly slash gravel, it's because we don't know which one it is. It's, it's, you're, you're gonna have to breed it and prove it out. Uh, but let's look at this. Let's say that dad was also a freeway. And you bred those those two together. This is my breeding plan, by the way. I've got I've got Delilah, who I'm going to raise up, and in about a year to a year and a half, I'll get a hatchling male that's also a yellow belly asphalt or a freeway, and uh, I'll raise him up. And when mom is ready to breed, dad should be over a year old and hopefully of size. And you breed those two together. Let's say dad throws. Get rid of that normal. Let's say dad throws an asphalt and mom throws an asphalt. That's a super asphalt and that has a very distinct look and it looks like this. If dad threw the asphalt and mom threw the yellow belly, we'd have a highway. That's got a very distinct look, obviously. We would know what that is. If, uh, if mom threw the yellow belly and dad threw the yellow belly, We'd have a super yellow belly or an ivory, and that looks like this. Do we not, do we not have the ivory, you guys? Could, we, could somebody put up the... Thank you. Looks like that. That's an ivory. Ivory is pretty much an all-white snake. There are some genes that, that will give it pattern, uh, like leopard, for instance, gives it some patterning. But uh, for the most part, it's an all-white snake, and it's really cool and very easy to distinguish from a freeway or a super asphalt or a super gravel. Let's say that, let's say that I was dealing with the, high, the um, highway project instead of the freeway project, and uh, we, had, we had gravels in the bait here. This is where I want my gravels. The baby had super gravel. That snake would look like this. Really cool snake. Highway and freeway are both genes that I can't tell apart because I don't have enough experience looking at those genes yet. Uh, and they both seem to be very highly polymorphic. So you can have a freeway that's just a freeway, and then you look at another freeway that's just a freeway, and it looks very different. Same with highway. So for me, it's tough to distinguish the two. I'm sure that as I get into this project more, I'll get better at distinguishing the two. They definitely look different than the super asphalt, super gravel, super yellow belly. By the way, I almost forgot to mention that an allelic gene can't reproduce itself without, without the help of the, of the other parent. 
uh, because you can only give one of these from, from one location. You can only give an asphalt and only give a yellow belly. If dad is normal in, in that spot, and by the way, gender doesn't matter here. It doesn't matter if it's the mom or the dad in any of these genes. Um, but if dad's normal, he's going to always give one normal and mom is only going to give one of these two. So they can never reproduce itself unless dad has those genes in those spots also. Whereas if I have a, um, if I have an orange dream leopard, let's say, because these are in different locations, mom by herself could reproduce an orange dream leopard that, you know, if she gave these genes in these in these two different spots to the baby she could reproduce that and that's the that's one of the tricky things with allelic genes is these are not technically separate genes they are the same gene so uh, the parent can only give one of them a couple of things of note uh, gravel yellow belly asphalt specter spark I believe are all the genes that are in this complex I just remembered Spectre and Spark, I think, are also in the Yellow Belly Complex. There may be another one that's, that's a little less common, but I'm not sure. Uh, if you know it, put it in the comments below. Another thing of note, the Asphalt Project was started, I believe, in Canada. And it's pretty popular in Canada. And you will hear Canadians, like Billy at Mutation Creation, say Asphalt. And I had to look that up because I thought he was mispronouncing the word, but then I heard somebody else from Canada say that too, and I was like, oh, they must have got the mispronunciation from Billy. And, but here's the thing, he's not, it's all of Canada mispronounces the word asphalt. Like road pavers in Canada say asphalt. It's a Canadian thing, that's how they pronounce it. I looked it up on the internet. Uh, Canadians and Australians pronounce it asphalt, even though there's no H. That's right, Canada. Gauntlet dropped. Okay, you guys, I hope that that was understandable for everybody. I've been experimenting with trying to work visuals in uh, with these genetics videos. Last time I had colored pictures of snakes, and this time I had that. So let me know in the comment section if that works for you or not, because I'll probably be doing other genetics videos, and uh, it's helpful to know if that works. Um, Kent, did that work for you? Did you understand this? There was just a lot of snakes that you were talking about, and I was uncomfortable with that. Sure, sure, understandable. Also, for those of you brand new to genes in ball pythons, just FYI, all the other genes that we were just talking about would shake out however they shake out. So sometimes you'd have orange dream, sometimes you'd have leopard, pied, however that worked out, if it worked out, or pastel, or whatever. Just works out normally how it works out. Your allelic genes, though, are the ones that... Uh, that throw kind of strangely, but hopefully that's understandable. All right, uh, Kent, would you like to do a sign off since you're the marketing guy? Uh, oh, I wish I had notes. Hi, I'm Kent from the marketing department. Uh, please buy all of our stuff. I mean, we don't have stuff to sell, but hypothetically buy all of our stuff and like the video and subscribe and uh, make a comment. Oh. I'm sorry about the buy stuff thing. That was, I don't know what I was thinking. Sorry about that. Fantastic. Thanks for watching, you guys. See you next time.